Hi Cancer, welcome to your monthly general reading. I am Charlene Lizette and this is Raven. Raven, say hi. <laughs> uh, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're returning a massive thank you to you for being a part of our high vibe community. As always, I do need to give gratitude and adoration to my great queen, the Morgan, to whom all my work is devoted to. General monthly readings are three cards for career finances, three cards for general overall energy, and three cards for love and romance. Raven, as you can see, is sitting on top of the desk right now. So we're going to um, make do. Make do, Raven. Raven. <laughs> Did you see what she was doing to the tarot cards? No, Raven. Oh my God. Raven. This is not, Raven. This is not a toy. I'm going to cut your nails. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I am. Okay, you going to help me pick for cancer? <laughs> She's like, no. <laughs> okay, fine. Well... Now she, look, she's picking out the tarot cards. Okay, so for career and finances, we have the Queen of Wands, the Page of Pentacles. Ooh, Cancer, I like this. Um, you're looking good. Uh, there's a lot of eyes on you. Oh, and the Ace of Wands. Okay, I really like this. Forgive me. Raven. Raven's in the way. Raven's like, I don't know. I belong right here. Um, in your general overall energy, you got the Three of Swords, the Ten of Swords. Holy fuck. And the Ace of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords reversed. Okay, so I don't do reversals. Here's what I'm going to tell you. Okay, we're not going to do the love yet, but look at the bottom, the Knight of the Knight of uh, of Wands. You may have um, met somebody who is very freaking shady. <sighs> this could be love for someone's career. You know, it's different for all all of you. We're doing this a little bit different, sorry, because Raven's right here. But this person that you met, man, oh man, were they slimy. Um, not cool at all. Don't get good vibes. Bad vibes. Bad vibes. If you watch the TikTok video. Um, and this month is a month where you're healing from it. This could have just even been like somebody from last year that maybe you didn't like actually deal with how they impacted you, how they affected you. Um, and man, does it ever hurt. It's uncomfortable to heal. It's uncomfortable to acknowledge where we may have made mistakes or we may have ignored red flags. For some of you, I actually just heard that they like took some of your money, uh, that they defrauded you. Like it's just fucking terrible energy here. Um, and it's uncomfortable. It doesn't feel good at all. But what you need to know is that while you're focused on healing this month, Cancer, uh, the healing brings you towards a new opportunity. Clarity. A solid, stable new beginning in your life. Healing this, the Ten of Swords, the Seven of Swords, the Three of Swords, the healing all this, walking away from the stuff that wasn't feeling good mentally, emotionally, physically, etc. Uh, allowing yourself to feel this energy gives you the opportunity to heal it. You got to feel it to heal it. In your career and your finances, um, while you're still in the inception of something new in your life, while um, there is still something here that's just growing, right? You've just given birth to it. You've just started to plant the seeds around it. Um, it may have not even like come to full manifestation. Not only is this little tiny seed something that you're super passionate about, but it feeds your creativity and it feeds the things that you love in life. Um, there's, there's a lot of eyes on you. There's a lot of people watching you. There's a lot of people turning around and going, damn, cancer's, cancer's on the move. Shit. Better catch up, right? Uh, they're, you're, you're very much sought after. You're, like, you're very impressive right now is the word I want to use. Um, this queen of wands is very confident, charismatic, intelligent, beautiful, walks into a room and demands presence, has an aura to them. Whether you're masculine, feminine, they, them, it doesn't matter. It's that aura energy. Somebody else got this. I'm, as I'm saying this, it feels familiar a little bit. So what, what you need to understand now is keep holding on to that, okay? You leveled up. This painful thing that ended in your life helped you to level up. It was like a learning lesson, uh, either like a sole purpose learning lesson, karmically, etc., that you needed to learn in order for you to be able to grow, in order for you to be able to evolve. So that now, Cancer, you sit in this Queen of Wands energy. Looking very, very good. Uh, very auspicious is what I heard, okay? This is very auspicious. Let me look at what's going on. Oh, you know what I actually forgot to do? Why did I even still have this out? Because I got distracted by my kitty. Guess why? Excuse me, ma'am. Ma'am. 
excuse me, Raven. What is she doing? Do you see her chewing on the cards? Excuse me. Excuse me, no, Raven. No. No. That hurts. Don't do that. What did I just say to you? I don't want to kick you out. No. Raven. No. No. <gasps> Ouch. Spicy one. How many people are going to get this imagination? I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. I mean, you know why? Because it's Pisces season. All right, Cancer, lean into that Pisces energy that we have currently, okay? Lean into it, embrace it, love it, enjoy it. We don't go into airy season until the end of March, but really, really enjoy it. Um, love it. Um, remember how intertwined and how connected you are to the Piscean creative, nourishing, um, magical aspect. Sorry. So she was like, oh, got in trouble there. Uh, also, cat-like reflexes for me. Sorry about that, Cancer. Um, relish in the creative aspects of this month with this Piscean energy. Use your imagination. Flow into it. Envision this. I'm telling you, like, if you are in the beginning of something creative around your career and your finances, man, does it ever have the opportunity to blow up into something, like, huge for you. I'm not going to show you this because... Oh, I got two. Mars is the Queen of Wands and the Ace of Wands. Fiery, passionate, determined. It's also Aries energy. What did I say about Aries energy? I'm not going to show you that yet. Because, because, because. Um, we're going to keep it so um, And it's time now. Use that imagination. Use that fiery energy. You may have um, Mars placements as well, Aries placements that are really shining through right now. I just heard some of you might have an Aries rising and Cancer Sun or a Cancer Moon. All right. Okay, let's take a look and see what's going on with love. Yeah, look, now you're now you're fucking terrified. Now you're like, I can't. I can't open up to love. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You didn't you didn't have two aces for a reason. The chariot. Okay? This is where you take control of your life, Cancer. This is where you decide to rein in your emotions and you get yourself in the driver's seat around your love life, okay? What do you want? What are you looking for? Yes, somebody hurt you in the past. It doesn't mean it's happening again, okay? Because this person... This person that's right here, right underneath here, holy shit. I'm telling you, they're, they're just around the corner. Is it gonna take time? For sure. Is it gonna be something that's gonna move super slow in love? 100%. Is it going to be a connection where you may become friends first, get to know each other first, talk first, etc.? Quite possibly. Could you meet them at work? Yeah, for sure. But this, my love, this is what comes from you standing in your power from you embracing these new beginnings, from you healing all the stuff down here, right? And for you understanding that your divine partner, the one who is going to be with you for the rest of your life through thick and thin, the one that's going to be the peanut butter to your jelly, unless you're allergic to peanut butter, then never mind. <laughs> um, the one who's always gonna be with you, right? Who's gonna support you, who's gonna help you, who's gonna understand who you are as a whole, Cancer, and meet you equally. You're just right here. This is at the bottom of the deck. That's like energy in your aura, in your space. So right now is a time for you to prepare, to plan, to expect the unexpected. All right, Cancer, if you're interested in a private reading, take a look at the description box below. I offer live and pre-recorded services. If you like crystal jewelry, I hand make pieces. I'm wearing my ojo here, Bastet. Um, Venus is right here for love. And these two new pieces are actually not up on the site yet, but if you sign up to the mailing list, you'll be the first to know when these two new pieces go up. They are amazing. Um, so beautiful for like your heart chakra and also for your third eye. 
for your psychic intuition, for that dreamer. Um, what else is there? Yeah, Cersei Jewels is in the description box below. There are modern day amulets to help you tap into your limitless potential. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. would love to have you as part of the community. Turn on bell notifications. Thank you for your likes, your comments, your shares, and your subscribes. We'll see you later, alligator. Peace out. Bye.